Hi everybody, welcome to our Coffee with Conti show on Sundays right where it's supposed to be. I'm sorry I missed you guys last week. We did have a show, but it didn't air until Wednesday. So in case you missed that, you can check it out via the videos tab right here on the YouTube channel or there'll be a link down below in the description. We talked about the controversial subject of Corvette becoming an SUV, C8R, feedback from Tatch. It's a fun show, so if you're if you're doing some binge watching before the Super Bowl tonight, check that out. I do appreciate the support. So on today's show, it was a while ago, I had asked you guys, when it comes to your Corvette, what do you like doing better? Cleaning it or driving it? We've got your feedback and the results today on Coffee with Conti. So this cartoon, I think, is a great way to get started with your cleaning feedback first. Dawn Jensen watches the channel. Thanks for sending in your email. She says, I love to hand wash my Corvettes so I can appreciate the beautiful lines of an incredible car. Thank you, Dawn. I do appreciate that. Here's Mike in Virginia. He loves keeping his Corvette clean. Now Ty in Ohio says cleaning it after a good cruise, then kicking back and having a good cigar and admiring the beauty of America's sports car. Here's Rob in New York with his Night Race Blue car, and he loves cleaning it. Phil in Florida, he loves cleaning his Corvette. And here's Anthony's Corvette. He says, Rick, I do like cleaning it more than driving it. And Mike in Florida is known as the waxer. There is nothing more seductive than a freshly polished Corvette. In fact, the members of my club have nicknamed me the waxer. So do I like driving my Corvette? Yes. Do I love keeping it spotless? Absolutely. Now, Mike in Pennsylvania, he says your Corvette should receive a hand waxing of pure Carnuba, no synthetic or other coatings that take the fun away every 10 miles driven. Miss Carlisle Blue here has been driven 8,300 miles. I am remiss because she doesn't have 830 coats of pure Carnuba yet. Thanks, Mike, for sending it in. Here's Dave's Corvette. He loves cleaning it, and here's the results of his recent ceramic coating. And an email from Darren Burnett. Rick, I have enjoyed your videos for some time. Great info and entertainment. I currently own a highly modded C5 and C7 Z06 Corvette. I really enjoy driving, but my relaxation comes after the drive when I'm back at the shop cleaning and detailing my Corvettes. And here's a pic from the border city of El Paso, Texas. I like both driving and cleaning my Corvette. I even take the wheels off and clean from the inside. John of Pennsylvania, he loves keeping his Corvettes clean. Here they are in the garage. John, thanks for watching the channel. Mike in New Jersey, he loves cleaning his Corvettes. And you have to love that foam cannon. Boy, does it do a nice job. Rich in Indiana, thanks for watching, sending in your picture. He loves cleaning. And from Steve in Ohio, he says, my youngest likes cleaning more than I do. I think she's doing a great job, Steve, and probably a better job than you can. And from Mark in Arizona at Soapbox Detail, he loves cleaning any Corvette that he can get his hands on. From our friends at Esoteric Auto Detail in New Albany, Ohio, I think they are afraid to drive their cars, but when it comes to cleaning, there's nobody better. Our 
Coffee with Conti show continues. What do you like doing better, cleaning or driving your Corvette? Let's check out this cartoon. I think you'll love this. I realize you love driving your Corvette, but quit driving it to the end of the driveway to check the mail. <laughs> All right, we got a text from the 909 area code that says, when I was younger, I would spend more time cleaning. At 73 now, I drive the heck out of my 2018 Stingray. Greg says, clean or drive? Hey Rick, it's no contest. While I don't mind cleaning the Corvette to showroom condition, it doesn't come close to the sheer joy of driving it. Thanks Rick, and keep up the stellar work. And Bill from Texas says, I love driving a clean Corvette. From the 860 area code, I absolutely love driving my Corvette, but it has to be clean. Carl in North Carolina says, for me, driving. But I like my car always clean. I have the time to clean, and I like to drive it looking good. And it does, Carl. Now, Mike in Ohio says, cleaning or driving? Driving. Just look at these pics. Wow. Now, Dave in Ohio, he says he likes driving his Corvette the best. Bobby, he likes driving his Corvette. Look good there, man. And Ken says one picture is worth a thousand words. Driving. Nicholas, thanks for watching the channel. He loves driving his white Z06. Now, Carnell says he likes cleaning his Corvette, but he loves driving it. And here's Bill from the Chicagoland area. He loves driving his 1990 Corvette, a car he still has to this day, and he ordered brand new. And as for Mike Ferreira, I think it's pretty clear, he loves driving his Corvette. Hang on. That was pretty cool. Jim at Ohio says, I prefer driving, but looking at my wife Vera's smile on her face, I'd say she likes driving too. And Tom in Texas, he loves doing some spirited driving in his Corvette. Thanks for sending this in. And Rick Austin sent in this video. He said, cleaning or driving? He says, oh, driving, for sure. Wait for it, wait for it, hang on, wait for it, and there we go. <laughs> oh, what? He's going to continue driving backwards? <laughs> Rick said, no Corvettes were harmed during this video. Hey, thanks for watching the channel and <laughs> setting this in. And what a fun one today. Thanks again, everybody, for joining us on Coffee with Conti. What do you like doing better, cleaning or driving your Corvette? Support our channel if you would, please. Thumbs up this video. Make comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And for me, it's driving. And we're going to close today's show with a clip that will help you remember, in case you've forgotten, that very first time that you drove a Corvette and what it felt like. Here's my son, Ryan, driving his Corvette. 
for the very first time. I'll see you guys on Tuesday.